Good morning, Carly. Today, while I vlog, I think I'm going to be packing because I have my senior trip next week and I, I really need to pack. So, I thought I would vlog while I pack, which, excuse the mess though, because I mean, like, nobody, nobody should have to see this, but my room is kind of trashed right now because of all the clothes. I didn't know I owned this many clothes. I, I had no idea, quite frankly. But anyways, you were talking about how um, you wondered if Mike's voice was still good. He did a concert about maybe two years ago. It was online and it was virtual, but it was still a concert nonetheless, and it was pretty amazing. His voice really has aged pretty well. Mike has not lost it for sure, so you can rest well with that. And actually, my favorite monkey is Peter, not Mike, but Mike comes in a close second. So you were close. Um, today I wanted to talk about something that actually wasn't about the monkeys, the beetles, or Badfinger, which I know is a little different, but I thought, I think as psychedelic nerds we should also spread out to other forms of music that don't necessarily revolve around, um, those three bands, because, I mean, there's so much other music out there that's old and psychedelic and great, too. What I want to talk about today was Shocking Blue. Now, I know that you know who they are, Carly, but a lot of people who may be watching these videos might not know who they are. Um, they were a band most popular in the late 60s, and they were known for their song, Venus. And if you haven't heard that song, it, that would be kind of surprising, because they play it in commercials a lot now, and it was pretty big in its heyday. Yeah, baby, she's got it. interesting more is the lead singer of that group, and her name is Mariska Veritz. She re really wasn't the way people thought she was. I mean, when you think of her, you would kind of think of like this psychedelic, like tripped out kind of typical hippie chick of that era, but she really wasn't. Um, she was... Uh, I used to know where she was born. She was born in Hungary or, so or somewhere like that. She was born in a um, Eastern European country. And she did a lot of singing in the early 60s with different groups. And then eventually, um, the other members of Shocking Blue met her and they heard her singing. They're like, do you want to join our group? And she's like, okay. Now, that's not that interesting, I know. But what's more interesting is how different she was than what people thought she was. She, she made it very clear, first of all, that when she joined that band, she was not to have any relationships with any of the group members. And I think that's kind of interesting because a lot of the bands like that, like, really were kind of all over the place in the relationship department. I also think it's interesting that she, they, they portrayed her to be some kind of like a sex symbol in the 60s, but she really was, had quite an aversion to all things like that. She really didn't like to smoke or drink or any of that kind of stuff like that that was actually really popular at that time. She was never married and she never had children. And it seems to me like she wasn't really interested in dating or anything like that. Another thing that I noticed, did she wore a wig. I'm not joking. I don't really understand that. I don't know why they wanted her to because she had just fine hair on her own and it actually looked very similar to the wig that she wore, but she wore a wig. Um, when the group split around 1969, she started doing her own solo music and her fans were all like, Oh, look, it's Marie Scaveras, let's go listen to her. But then they were kind of shocked because the wig came off and she had her normal hair. She had her shorter hair. She didn't wear as much makeup and she wore clothes that covered her whole body because she was actually, it seems that she was a very modest person, which I can appreciate, but at the same time people were kind of like, Whoa, wait, what? Sometime before she died, she wrote a book. So you could probably go find that somewhere if you wanted to hear more about her. But I think that's all the time that we have for today. I will see you later, Carly. I think I'm going to make maybe two videos today or do something. And if not, I'll post it after I come back from my trip. But um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>